But how long had this ice man been lying on the mountain? Completely alien world. When you go below the ice, down into the water. Scientists in Russia have found 43,000-year-old cave lion cub. They call this cub. Though polar ice caps, glaciers, and permafrost may seem barren wastelands, they contain hidden vaults holding humanity's ancient secrets. As Earth's climate transforms and ice melts, these icy time capsules unveil astonishing discoveries, from lion cubs frozen in time to never-before-seen life forms. Join us as we uncover 20 jaw-dropping finds perfectly preserved in the ice. Number 20. Stendek. On August 2, 1947, an Avro Lancastrian airliner operated by British South American Airways disappeared over the icy glaciers of the Andes during a routine flight from Buenos Aires, Argentina to Santiago, Chile, with 11 crew members and passengers on board. The last communication from the plane was a cryptic radio message received when it was due to land in Santiago. The crew transmitted, Stendek. No further contact was made, and the aircraft, nicknamed Stardust, never reached its destination, vanishing somewhere amidst the icy expanse of Mount Tupungato in the Andes. The mysterious cargo and passengers aboard added another layer of intrigue to the perplexing disappearance. The aircraft contained five crew members, all former British Air Force personnel, and six passengers. Among them were Paul Simpson, a king's messenger carrying diplomatic documents destined for the British Embassy in Santiago, and Cassis Saeed Atala, a Chilean-Palestinian man suspected of concealing a diamond in the lining of his suit. The origin and purpose of this precious gem remained a well-guarded secret, known only to a select few. The presence of such a valuable and mysterious cargo further deepened the intrigue surrounding the flight leaving investigators and the public alike with more questions than answers. The meaning behind the final ominous message, Stendek, baffled investigators and spawned wild speculation for decades. With the plane and all those aboard missing without a trace, scenarios ranging from alien abduction to ghosts and sabotage circulated. The true fate of Stardust remained an impenetrable mystery until 1998, when mountaineers discovered fragments of the plane's wreckage on a glacier high up Mount Tupungato in the Andes. It appeared the pilots had descended prematurely in poor visibility and crashed headlong into the ice. But even after the crash site was located, the enigmatic word Stendek continued to confound the explanation. Why had such an experienced radio operator made such a strange transmission? Number 19, Frozen Lion Cubs. When you take a closer look at these lion cubs, it might give the impression that they perished moments ago. In truth, however, they are a staggering 20,000 years old, frozen in time. In 2017, Russian scientists announced a sensational finding, the nearly complete remains of two frozen lion cubs, unveiled by the thawing permafrost of Siberia's yamalo nenets region. Named Sparta and Boris, these specimens belong to the long-extinct cave lion species that roamed Eurasia during the late Pleistocene Ice Age until vanishing around 10,000 years ago. Despite being discovered just 15 meters apart, the cubs lived over 15,000 years apart, but their remarkable preservation has offered unprecedented insights into these prehistoric predators. At about 28,000 years old, Sparta is considered the world's most well-preserved Ice Age animal ever found. Her golden fur, soft tissues, claws, whiskers, and even internal organs remained intact, looking as if she were only sleeping. She likely fell into a pit as a young cub, her body becoming naturally mummified in Siberia's sub-zero climate over thousands of years. Boris perished around 43,000 years ago, but was also found almost perfectly preserved. Their remains contained well-preserved organics, including fur and skin, allowing scientists to perform detailed genetic analysis on the ancient cubs. Number 18. Ice 7. Deep below the planet's surface, water can exist in remarkable forms utterly alien to our everyday experience. Here, under crushing pressures, hundreds of times greater than on Earth's surface, water molecules are compressed into unique configurations unknown in the world above. One of the most astounding of these is Ice 7, an exotic phase of solid ice that remains stable at extremely high pressures. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, 
scientists were stunned by the discovery that applying tremendous pressure to ice could force it into new, uncharted structural phases. At pressures greater than 10,000 atmospheres, the common hexagonal crystal structure of ice begins to change. The hydrogen bonds between water molecules compress, and the crystalline lattice reorganizes itself into new exotic forms no longer governed by the familiar rules. Ice 7 is one of the most perplexing of these phases. Only stable at pressures exceeding 300,000 times atmospheric pressure, its atoms rearrange into a cubic structure unlike any form of ice we experience on Earth's surface. Moreover, ICE-7 provides insights into planetary interiors and extrasolar worlds. Similar high-pressure ices likely exist deep within icy moons like Europa and Enceladus, or in the dense cores of gas giants like Uranus and Neptune. As researchers continue to uncover ICE-7's secrets, its unique properties may find applications in fields as diverse as physics, geology, material science, and astrobiology. The strange ice thriving deep underground is proof that water's wonders extend far beyond Earth's surface. Number 17. Fukushima's Ice Wall When one thinks of an ice wall, what comes to mind? Perhaps it's the colossal wall from the world of Game of Thrones, a formidable structure crafted to safeguard the realm against the ominous threat of white walkers and to restrain the wildlings and all who dare venture beyond the Seven Kingdoms' borders. Yet, beyond the realm of fantasy, in the wake of the devastating 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami that left Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant teetering on the brink, another extraordinary feat of engineering took shape. An underground ice wall encircling the compromised site. Constructed by TEPCO, the plant's operator, this frozen fortification emerged as a guardian, built to prevent the escape of contaminated groundwater into the waiting arms of the ocean. Completed in 2016, the wall measures approximately 1.5 kilometers and reaches 30 meters deep. It consists of a pipe network circulating coolant chilled to negative 30 degrees Celsius, which freezes and merges surrounding soil into a contiguous barrier. This aims to block groundwater flow from contacting the damaged reactor buildings, becoming tainted with radioactive elements, and discharging into the sea. Initial results suggest the ice wall has been effective in reducing groundwater contamination outflows. However, the system requires constant monitoring and maintenance to maintain integrity. Number 16. Finger of death beneath the floating sea ice of Earth's frigid polar regions, a bizarre phenomenon takes shape. Wispy icy tendrils forming upside-down stalactites that extend downward into the ocean. Resembling icy fingers, these strange formations are brinicles. Tubular shafts of ice enveloped in a thin layer of supercooled brine. Brinicles grow as cold, salty brine drains from the sea ice above, freezing the relatively warmer seawater below. This gives rise to an icy, pipe-like structure propagating toward the sea floor at around 10 to 20 centimeters per hour. A network of brinicles rooted to the underside of the sea ice creates a haunting forest of icy spikes penetrating into the water below. But beneath their ethereal beauty lies an insidious nature. Brinicles trap and freeze marine organisms in their path. Bacteria, starfish, sea urchins, and more become encased inside the descending brinicles, essentially frozen in place on what resembles an icy stalagmite. This has earned them the chilling moniker Brinicles of Death. While lethal for individual organisms, brinicle formation may benefit seafloor ecosystems. The anchor ice at the Brinicle base entombs organic matter from the water column which eventually detaches, rising to the surface. This creates an upward flux of nutrients when the sea ice melts in spring. Brinicles remain relatively unstudied, but their seasonal freeze-thaw cycles likely play important and complex roles in Arctic marine habitats' annual rhythms. Beneath winter's frozen ceiling, the icy fingers of death redistribute life. Number 15. Toxic Mercury Beneath the Arctic permafrost, a silent threat has been slumbering for millennia, one that is now awakening as the frozen ground retreats. Scientists have discovered that Arctic soil contains a massive reservoir of mercury that was previously locked away by the frozen ground but is now being released as the permafrost disappears. Researchers estimate the mercury amounts to 15 million gallons, 
the largest quantity of the toxic metal anywhere on Earth. This mercury accumulated through natural processes like volcanic eruptions and forest fires over thousands of years, becoming trapped and immobilized within the permafrost. But now, as rising temperatures drive permafrost melt, this long dormant mercury is being liberated, free to be absorbed by microorganisms and enter the food web. The consequences could be disastrous for Arctic ecology as well as human health if people consume mercury-contaminated animals and seafood. Researchers worry the true risks of this unprecedented release of mercury remain unknown. Once in aquatic systems, bacteria can convert it into highly toxic methylmercury that biomagnifies as it moves up the food chain. The effects may be far-reaching, potentially impacting indigenous communities across the Arctic. With permafrost expected to decline by up to 90% by 2100, the mercury predicament highlights the unexpected dangers unlocked by climate change and the fragile balance of Arctic environments threatened by human-caused planetary warming. Number 14. Ancient Giant Virus In 2014, researchers announced a groundbreaking discovery. They had successfully revived a giant virus buried around 30,000 years ago within Siberian permafrost. This ancient pathogen, named Pythovirus cybericum, had been cryogenically preserved in the frozen ground until scientists resurrected it in a laboratory culture. Its successful revival was astonishing considering viruses were not thought to remain infectious after such immense spans of time. Beyond its age, Pythovirus cybericum captivated researchers for another reason, its sheer size. At 1.5 micrometers long, it is one of the largest viruses ever discovered, 50% longer than other known giant viruses. Despite its massive size, Pythovirus uses a replication cycle similar to much smaller viruses. Its viability after being frozen for thousands of centuries demonstrates the immense resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. Scientists suggested that as more permafrost thaws, ancient pathogens like pythovirus could potentially re-emerge. While this giant virus poses no direct threat to humans or animals, its revival carries both promise and concern for researchers in the emerging field of paleobiology, the study of ancient viruses. On one hand, it opens doors to explore how viruses co-evolved with life through the ages. However, it also serves as a warning that long dormant pathogens preserved in ice may someday again emerge into Earth's ecosystems as climate change marches onward. Number 13. 32,000-Year-Old Seed While investigating an Ice Age squirrel burrow in remote Siberia in 2012, Russian researchers made an astonishing find, a cache of fruit containing perfectly preserved seeds dating back 32,000 years. The mature seeds belong to Silene stenophylla, a species of flowering plant native to Siberia. This discovery would blow open doors in the emerging science of reviving ancient life. Placed in nutrient-rich soils, the seeds sprouted into healthy plants indistinguishable from modern samples. The vigorous regeneration of this 32,000-year-old angiosperm was a landmark event, demonstrating the remarkable resilience of plant life. The mature seeds recovered from the permafrost apparently retained their hibernation abilities and genetics intact across vast epochs of time. Beyond resurrecting an extinct strain of flower, the Silene stenophylla discovery carries enticing ramifications for biotechnology, crop cultivation, conservation, and even possibly the revival of extinct animal species through genetic hybridization. Number 12. Five Crates of McKinley Whiskey in 2012, a serendipitous discovery unfolded in Antarctica's harsh polar climate. Five crates of Scotch whiskey abandoned at a remote outpost by British explorer Ernest Shackleton over a century ago. The crates containing McInley and Co. whiskey had been forgotten since Shackleton's 1907 Antarctic expedition until conservationists excavating artifacts at the historic Cape Royds hut site happened upon the spirits. Miraculously, the negative 16 degrees Celsius temperatures had preserved the whiskey in excellent condition for over 100 years beneath the ice. Upon finding the crates, the Antarctic Heritage Trust reached out to alcohol conglomerate Diageo, which acquired the McInley brand in the 1990s. After expert taste testing confirmed the whiskey's quality had remained intact, 
The company sought to faithfully recreate the vintage spirit based on its original recipe, a lost piece of whiskey history resurrected after a century frozen in Antarctic ice. Chemical analysis allowed researchers to identify the compounds contributing to the historic McInley whiskey's flavor, which Diageo then used to distill an updated recreation they called Shackleton Blended Malt. Some of the original bottles have also been preserved for posterity by White and Amp McKay, owners of the McInley brand after Shackleton's era. Number 11. Woolly Mummified Mammoth in 2022, a momentous finding emerged from the frozen earth of Northwest Canada's Klondike gold fields. The near-complete remains of a 42,000-year-old baby woolly mammoth, mummified in Yukon permafrost. Nicknamed Nun Choga, meaning big baby animal in the local indigenous language, this female calf died at just 28 days old but was preserved in extraordinary condition. Her skin, fur, trunk, and even internal organs remained intact, offering an unprecedented mammoth specimen for scientific study. Nun Cho Ga lived during the late Pleistocene when woolly mammoths roamed across the vast, frozen landscape of Beringia. Her young age has allowed researchers to gain invaluable insights into mammoth growth patterns and developmental biology that are difficult to extract from adult specimens. Isotope analysis of her teeth and tusks has revealed details about the climate and environment she inhabited and her breastfeeding patterns during the first month of life. Additionally, her remains contain well-preserved blood vessels, muscle tissue, and skin that hold promise for insights into mammoth physiology. Number 10. Reindeer Frozen in Time In 2010, at a holiday park in northern England, Children arriving hoping to see Santa's reindeer received a shock when they were met with a ghastly sight. Reindeer partially frozen in a nearby lake. Several reindeer had broken through unsafe ice at the edge of the lake and drowned, their bodies preserved by the frigid temperatures. Park staff faced the challenging task of safely retrieving the carcasses to avoid distressing future visitors. The cold climate allowed the drowned reindeer to become uncannily well-preserved. Their fur, skin, and hooves all remained largely intact, creating an almost taxidermic appearance. However, what was a fascinating scientific specimen was a traumatic vision for young children expecting to see magical reindeer. Sadly, unseasonably early thaws followed by plummeting temperatures had created hidden dangers in the ice. With their natural camouflage, the reindeer wandered onto insecure frozen patches that appeared indistinguishable from the rest of the white snowy ground. Number 9. Tunic of Lendbreen In 2011, archaeologists made an astonishing discovery as the Lendbreen ice patch in Norway's mountains relinquished a remarkable relic, a tunic dating back to the Viking Age. Estimated to be around 1,300 years old, this wool garment had been entombed in the ice and snow for centuries before finally emerging as the glaciers retreated. Despite its incredible age, the tunic remained incredibly well-preserved by the icy conditions, retaining its woolen fibers, leather straps, and trim made of arctic fox fur. The ancient garment provides a striking insight into Norse clothing, culture, and living conditions many centuries ago. Radiocarbon dating traces the tunic's origins back to the period between 230 and 390 AD when Scandinavia was transitioning from the Roman Iron Age to the age of Viking expansion. The tunic's design featured a diamond pattern known as lozenges, common in Norse folk costumes. Its preserved fibers and leather straps attest to the craftsmanship and resources utilized in its construction. Most remarkably, the vivid blue and maroon colors of the woven wool were still visible after over a millennium entombed in ice. This ancient fashion preserved in a natural deep freeze helps bridge the centuries, adding color and texture to our picture of Norse life during the first millennium AD. Number 8. Ancient Lunchbox High in the snowy peaks of the Swiss Alps, a seemingly mundane mishap over 3,500 years ago created an unexpected time capsule into the lives of ancient Alpine societies. In 2012, archaeologists excavating an exposed ridge near the Schneidejok Pass discovered a wooden container partially embedded in the melting ice. Radiocarbon dating revealed this unassuming artifact to be over 3,500 years old, originating in the European Bronze Age between 1450 and 1360 BC. Though preserved wood vessels from this period are rare, 
This lunchbox offered an enticing glimpse into our ancestors' daily habits. Chemical analysis detected compounds from cereal grains like wheat and barley adhering to the interior. These traces provide direct evidence that the box once likely contained a simple meal of grains, probably a porridge or flatbread. The discovery sheds light on how early alpine herders transported and stored food as they traveled to seasonal pastures. The ubiquity of grain residues in the lunchbox also gives clues into the dietary staples sustaining ancient communities in the region. Furthermore, finding the box at 3,000 meters altitude indicates people were traversing the high Alps much earlier than previously thought. This unremarkable vessel forgotten millennia ago in the snow thus reconstructs lifestyle, diet, and activity in the high mountains during Europe's Bronze Age. Number 7. The Singing Ice of Antarctica Along the remote Antarctic coastline, a colossal slab of ice spanning an area larger than Spain produces an eerie symphony. The Ross Ice Shelf, the world's largest floating ice mass, generates a cacophony of unearthly rumbles, groans, and whistles, a soundtrack unlike anything else on Earth. This bizarre phenomenon arises from vibrations in the thick, ancient layers of compressed snow atop the shelf. Scientists describe it as singing ice. This hypnotic music was discovered by accident in 2014 when researchers deployed seismic sensors across the ice sheet to monitor its structure and motion. The sensitive instruments detected continuous vibrations in the ice's topmost layers caused by blowing winds ruffling the snow dunes. The ice sheet amplifies these vibrations which produce blustery tones humans cannot hear, but speed up and process, sound like haunting rasps and sighs. The Ross Ice Shelf song changes in response to shifting weather, generating different notes that fill the frozen air. While the source of the music is ordinary wind turbulence, its vast scale and pure icy medium create an extraordinary celestial chorus. The vibrations also cause the ice shelf to oscillate back and forth in its entirety. Scientists believe tapping into these motions could help monitor the health and stability of Antarctic ice in a changing climate. Number 6. Giant Spinning Disc in Maine In the frigid winter of 2019, an astonishing discovery rotated into view along Maine's Presumpscot River, a titanic disk of ice turning ceaselessly in the dark waters. This glacial giant measured over 90 meters across, larger than a Boeing jetliner. Local officials managed to capture drone footage of the massive pancake languidly spinning counterclockwise, evoking a sense of wonder at nature's capability for abstract beauty. The disk's gargantuan size and surreal motion captivated observers across the nation. Its continuity relied on specific conditions. The slow eddies of the river kept the chunky crystals fused together in a cyclic dance. Despite its scale, the disk used simple physics, with the motion of the river churning its peripheral ice into rotational energy. While such icy megaliths are uncommon, scientists noted they are not unknown especially in the frigid climes of Antarctica and the Baltic Seas. Like many natural wonders, the icy orb eventually succumbed to time and temperature, breaking apart and drifting downstream. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Amateur explorers were traversing the remote South Siberian mountains in hopes of unearthing artifacts revealed by melting ice. And what they discovered frozen in ice shocked the whole world. They uncovered mysterious stone statues concealed in the newly exposed glaciers. Though eroded by time, intricate details were still visible, evoking an ominous aura. Perhaps these sculptures were carved eons ago by a tribe inhabiting the icy tundra, though no evidence has been found of people dwelling in these mountains. Their significance is lost to the time. Where did they originate? Who crafted them and for what purpose? The ice keeps the statues' secrets locked away. Do you know anything about them? Share your thoughts and theories about them in the comments below. Number 5. Himalayan Skeleton Lake In 1942, a forest ranger in Uttarakhand, India stumbled upon a ghastly sight. A frozen lake situated 5,000 meters high in the Himalayas, its edges and shallows littered with hundreds of human skeletons. Thus Rupkund Lake earned its ominous moniker Skeleton Lake. But how did these remains end up in this remote glacial basin? 
What befell these doomed travelers crossing what became their final resting place? For decades, Rupkun's skeletons confounded experts. Initial theories proposed an epidemic, landslide, or ritual suicide devastated a group of 9th century Hindu pilgrims. However, a 2004 National Geographic expedition conducted forensic analysis and posited the skeletons belonged to two genetically distinct groups separated by 1,000 years, one comprising religious pilgrims in the 9th century CE and a later group around 1800 CE, possibly made up of traders. Both were caught in sudden hailstorms and perished on the exposed lakeshore. Yet 2019 DNA analysis added a startling twist. Some skeletons originated from the eastern Mediterranean, potentially Greek ancestors journeying through the mountains, or even Roman-era soldiers. What united these disparate groups across millennia and geography, their final entombment in Rupkun's icy grip, still intrigues researchers. The skeletons encircling Skeleton Lake today represent but a fraction of the grim trove concealed on its floor below, with potentially hundreds more embedded in silt. Though Rupkun surrendered some of its secrets, many more skeletons lie frozen in time, awaiting their chance to tell their stories. Number 4 the Antarctic Lake, Vostok. Far beneath the icy expanse of Antarctica lies a hidden wonder. Lake Vostok, the largest of over 400 mysteriously alluring subglacial lakes dotting the frozen continent. The surface of this long buried lake has been sealed off for 15 to 25 million years beneath a four kilometer thick glacier cap. At this isolated extremity of Earth, Lake Vostok offers an environment wholly alien from the rest of our planet. Extremely cold, perpetually dark, under immense pressure, and cut off from the flow of time. The discovery of Lake Vostok in the 1990s signified a turning point in polar research. It confirmed not only the existence of a massive body of water encased kilometer deep in Antarctic ice, but it also harbored a completely unknown form of life. While exploration has confirmed Lake Vostok's inhospitable conditions with limited microbial diversity, its pristine environment continues to intrigue as an analog to icy moons like Europa, where liquid water may interact with a rocky core. As researchers analyze the lake water samples collected thus far, many mysteries persist about this time capsule buried deep in the heart of Antarctica. Unraveling the secrets of Lake Vostok and its isolated inhabitants will not only illuminate life's limits on Earth, but also offer clues in the search for extraterrestrial life in extreme environments across the solar system. The ancient lake of Vostok is a portal back through Earth's history and a window into the possibilities ahead. Number 3. Frozen Air Bubbles Scientists have discovered an extraordinarily detailed record of Earth's atmospheric conditions dating back 800,000 years, and it comes from microscopic bubbles locked inside ancient glacial ice sheets. As snow accumulates year after year, gases from the atmosphere become trapped within, and analyzing the composition of these minute capsules allows the reconstruction of climate history with unprecedented resolution. The bubbles found in mile-thick ice cores from Antarctica and Greenland are a veritable time machine. By measuring the ratios of gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrogen, Researchers can determine greenhouse gas fluctuations across millennia, data critical for understanding today's human-driven climate crisis. Moreover, the bubbles contain particulate matter from past volcanic eruptions and pollution events, which provide further environmental insights. Their chronological sequence and age distribution map a timeline annotating major events such as ice ages. While ice cores containing such bubbles only cover 800,000 years, pushing record boundaries to over a million years remains a holy grail for climate scientists. Each microscopic bubble breathes life into Earth's past atmosphere and future predictions. Number 2. Ancient Bacteria in Glacial Ice In the extreme conditions of subsurface polar ice sheets, the boundaries of survival are being stretched far beyond imagination. Scientists have discovered bacteria preserved alive for remarkable spans, tens of thousands to possibly even millions of years, when encased in glacial ice in Antarctica. These microbes subsist in tiny liquid saline pockets deep within the ice, metabolizing minerals and traces of organic matter. 
The most ancient revived so far are over 120,000 years old. Under the ice sheet's crushing cold and pressure, these bacteria eke out an existence far exceeding scientists' expectations for life longevity. Their survival offers tantalizing hints about life's tenacity on both Earth and Mars. Antarctica's dry valleys are the most Mars-like environment on Earth, and the strategies these microorganisms use to persist in glacial ice may mirror how hypothetical microbes endure below Mars's frozen surface. Studying the molecular adaptations enabling such extreme cryogenic endurance on Earth will offer clues that guide the search for biosignatures on the Red Planet. These ancient microbes remind us that life abides far beyond the realms we consider habitable, Worlds frozen deep in time may still hold the sparks of life eternal. Number 1. The Iceman In 1991, a chance discovery high in the Ottstal Alps on the border between Austria and Italy led to one of the most astonishing archaeological finds of the 20th century. The mummified remains of a man who lived over 5,000 years ago. Nicknamed Otzi after the Ottstal Valley where he was uncovered, this Iceman was remarkably preserved by the icy climate, allowing researchers to gain extraordinary insights into a period of prehistory known as the Copper Age. Otzi's body, clothing, and possessions were so well preserved that he was initially mistaken for a modern hiker or climber who had met their demise on the mountain. However, it soon became clear that this individual had perished thousands of years ago, offering an unprecedented snapshot of daily life during the Copper Age. Analysis of Otzi's stomach contents, tools, and clothing paint a vivid picture of his diet, health, occupation, and equipment. Otzi likely lived as a herder and wore garments stitched from leather, fur, and grass. Examination of his teeth revealed traces of wheat, meat, and vegetables, while his stomach contained remnants of ibex meat. He carried a copper axe and a quiver of arrows, suggesting hunting formed a key part of his subsistence lifestyle. Perhaps most fascinatingly, Otzi's body bears the marks of his life story. His skin displays 61 tattoos consisting of lines and crosses, which may have held social or medicinal significance. Isotope analysis indicates Otzi was born and raised in the region's valleys, but periodically ventured into the high mountains. After perishing from his injuries, the icy climate perfectly preserved his remains where they lay undisturbed for over five millennia. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.